and welcome back to Health, Home and Lifestyle. I'm here with Guam Regional Medical City Respiratory Manager Anthony Cruz and a Respiratory Therapist Chauncey Bailey. And we're here to talk about the Body Box. So for those in the community who haven't heard yet, what exactly is this device? The Body Box is technical, is the easy word for the technical term, plethmography. Okay, and what the box does, it you put the patient inside the box. All right, they sit in a chair, we have a mouthpiece, and we test their lung volumes. All right, uh, we test their total lung capacity. We help to, uh, by doing various tests in this box, to help diagnose their uh, pulmonary disease or what extent their pulmonary disease is. So I understand this is the only box on island and so there is a partnership between GRMC and other hospitals such as GMH and Naval Hospital. That's correct. We're on a joint effort with uh, GMH and Naval because they don't have the body box so I've brought them on staff uh, to, to be a part of it. So it, this is a joint effort for all three hospitals to provide the island of Guam, you know, the necessary tools uh, to be diagnosed with it. It also helps uh, the pulmonary specialists uh, uh, help uh, them diagnose the patient better. Okay, and so you mentioned that this particular device looks at um, pulmonary diseases such as asthma, COPD. So are these types of diseases very common here on island? Well, yes, determining, you know, many of the island people smoke. Okay, and smoking is a big cause of pulmonary disease, and this helps us uh, diagnose those issues. Okay, and so I actually visited you over at GRMC the other day, and I got a chance to get inside this box, sit inside, and see what the patient actually goes through. So for those who are kind of are claustrophobic, it is a small space, but there's a tube going in where you breathe in um, pure oxygen. So. They have to go through a series of tests. How does it work? Yes, there's several tests that we do. Uh, we uh, called gas diffusion, uh, total lung capacity, different technical terms, and we do these tests with the patient. Uh, each test we do three or four times with the patient, so we can get the best test results for the patient. And I have an awe moment when the patients first see the box because they get like oh my God, what are you going to do to me, you know? And I have to assure them that uh, the ceiling isn't going to drop out, no sharks are going to come up through the mm -hmm. bottom, because it's, it's scary. Like you said, it's claustrophobic. So they, they are more relieved at that point, and uh, it's, it's, it's fun to do with each patient. Okay, and so also for those patients who are very sickly, maybe can't uh, get up and walk, there is a way for them to also use this device. Yes, uh, the, the body box has two doors. One is for a wheelchair, and we have a special wheelchair that they can get into to put them up in the box and make them comfortable. They're safe at all times. I'm watching every movement and everything that happens with the patient. Okay, and so this just um, started operations this week? Yes, full operation, technically last week. Uh, we are in full operation every day, Monday through Friday now, and we can only see four patients a day because each test takes anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half, depending on the patient. And then not only that, we're adding to that, we're going to be doing what we call the six minute walk and desaturation testing. And what that's for is to help distinguish whether or not the patient needs oxygen at home. Okay, and speaking of this partnership between the different hospitals here on island, there are people trained at each hospital to operate the device or actually all three hospitals has the same uh, equipment we just added to that and we brought we bought the body box which the other two hospitals didn't so all three hospitals are doing the same testing we just added the body box which adds a, about three or four more testings to go with the regular pulmonary function to give the doctor uh, more tools to diagnose the patient with Okay, and so uh, the patients have to breathe, breathe out. They're the test of breathing out and right. Breathing in. It's it's different a series of breathing exercises that I do with the patients. Take deep breath in and blow it out, and they're like, 
you know, and some people don't have it at the extent of that whatever their disease is, you know, they can't, they don't have the ability to blow out or to breathe in. And that's where the doctor diagnoses the issues that the patient may have. And as Tony was saying, Anthony was saying about the cooperation with the other hospitals, the three of us will be working together because they want to learn the body box and the three of us together working and learning together uh, our skills with each other, which is a really good thing and I appreciate Anthony's effort on that uh, for, for us because it just makes us all better and it, better to serve our patients. All right, well, thank you again for all your work that you're doing. I know it is a big problem. Actually, my sister has asthma, so thank you again. Yeah. Hopefully, she can get checked at the body box at your yeah, MC. Right. All right, any final comments? Uh, I just want the community to know that this is both uh, offered on an outpatient basis so that you can be referred to the hospital and see our pulmonary doctor, and we also do it as an, in an inpatient. All right, thank you again so much for joining us. Thank, thank you. you. Well, stay tuned. We'll have more health, home, and lifestyle after the break.